I'm going to show UK, showcase Accenture's journey around the OSTU, um, what we're doing, investing and building out. Um, but essentially, we're really excited about the OSTU journey and, and we're fully committed, fully here. Um, Accenture's been building capacity and capability around the data-led transformation. And, and we see OSTU as a key part of that data-led transformation that many operators are going through at the same time. Um, we've built out an OSDU center of excellence and we've connected that into the wider extension network and, and that's nearly 700,000 people now um, covering everything from uh, innovation, uh, agile development, change management and then coupling that with the domain expertise that we have. Uh, we're investing heavily uh, both in the forum and tooling and we're contributing to the forum with lead positions in the core services sector around EDS and ingestion. And we're also focused around platform assurance. We've got a plan to start to populate people into the multi-region deployment uh, side of things. So one of our investments that we'd like to show you uh, today really is um, a demo around one data platform. But before we get there, um, Terry, if you jump in and, and talk us through maybe some of the challenges of what what they are and why we've been building what we've been building. Yeah, sure thing. Thanks, Paul. Um, if you flick over, please, Degan. The I just want to take a moment just to acknowledge that the, uh, the a lot of the, the the software applications that we're looking at are amazing. They're they're on the premise of of OSDU already being loaded and populated with data, and. A lot of the, the challenges that we're seeing actually is being able to connect to the source systems that exist inside organizations and harvesting that data, applying validation and governance to it, and then taking it and populating it into OSDU. So the premise on our working flight at the moment that we're doing with, our, with people is based around actually how do we access what it is that you've got? How do we get it in a state that's ready to be loaded into OSDU? And how do we do we apply the, the governance and, and validation rules that are going to be very specific to your organization before you actually put it into OSDU? Um, so if you think about the, the, the capabilities that are required in order to do that, we actually sat down and did an exercise and said, OK, so what is it? And we did this in partnership with, with people. You know, what, what is it you need to be able to do in order to be able to populate OSDU? So if you flick over again, please, Jagan. We actually uh, outlined what it is that you need to, the, 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 the capabilities that you need to take your data from where it exists right now and push it into OSDU. And these are some of the, the, the points that we actually looked at. The bits marked in, in, in yellow here are, are things that you, you, you get a, a, a view of right now. We'll show, Jagan and Pooja will show you in a moment. But this is, and there are also bits that we're working on, the stuff that's in flight. So one of the, one of the, 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 the key parts is being able to take this, the schemas and the structures that exist inside your, that, that, that exist and actually matching them to the OSDU format because there's, there's a lot of uh, interpretation um, or potential interpretation as to how things could could marry up. There's actually connecting to your systems as they exist now. There's validating that what you've got is is the the, the, the correct version or the, the what you consider to be the system uh, the, the system of record for it or the source of the truth. The ability to uh, generate uh, the metadata database that that characterizes it, but also to actually um, extract from certain file types, meta characteristics that you will use to populate that, those metadata databases. Um, applying some of those structural QC, I saw a question a little while ago about what version of SegWire you could look at, whether it's an extended version of, of an epsidic header, being able to correctly identify that and, and, and make that information available to people, but also to run QC on this data as well, to say there are bits that are missing, you know, being able to populate your meta database correctly before you actually load it into OSDU. Um, I won't talk any more, so I'll let the, the guys um, show you what it is that we've been working on. Um, but if you have any questions along the way about any of this, please, please feel free to reach out. I think Jagan's going to take you through it now. Thank you, Terry. 
So let me walk through this one. So basically we we identify what are the pain area where customer re really going through that when some, any customer who adopt that OST platforms, we have all the functionality available where how to ingest the data using a different mechanism like manifest CSV and then DDMS concept. Everything is in a place, but the challenging part first step it's figuring it figuring it out. What is the customer data? How I can map with the OST data schema? then identifying that mapping first and then in just it is taking longer time. So what we decided uh, slightly that OK, we will start building. Uh, Accenture start thinking that OK, so the first step before we ingest the data first, we need to map the schema with a voice to you to do that. I'm taking as an example of the data what we have right now. So basically it is built based on the machine learning model where it is identifying what is a relevant schema what we have with OSTU what data what customer has provided. So when we do that basically it is a NLP program which is running in the background and it is identifying very close to the relation between the OSTU schema with the customer data. For example here we have a well ID. So what is the relevant information according to the schema what we have in OSTU. So it is able to identify what is the relevant information. For example right now we are we have the 70 80 percent of accuracy what are the thing because in OST you you all aware of that the schema it is too much complex where we have to look at the master schema that master schema will have some reference schema that reference again it will go to the nested reference schema so we have to traverse through all the element of each data type and understand and map the data into the customer data that is quite difficult to do because of it is all manual effort right now it is happening and you need to have a functional knowledge. So with with Accenture, we have a functional expert plus external technical expert. We build together this tool where we are able to identify what is the relevant of of the data we have. For example, if I have a suffix number, this I got it from one of the customers. Say example, we are providing this option here, but and unfortunately we do not know what this exact result. Uh, so what we have given, we have given I identify as a functional expert that I am saying that this is the exact result of this column name. So what we have identified, there is a, another model which we are building based on the customer feedback. So we will take that we call it as a feedback model which we are building right now. Eventually what it does, it started giving the more accuracy result one to one mapping kind of thing. Once it is all done, then we will just save this data into into our platform here. This is the first step which we are doing for any customer. The second step, what we decided that what is the next step to generate the metadata. So we all know that before you ingest the data after you receive from the customer, the next step you have to categorize the data. What is master data? What is reference data? What is a miscellaneous data? So these are the data classification. It is still in 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 a manual effort, but we are trying to make more uh, intelligent way to identify the data, and then we are constructing. Right now, what you are seeing at this stage, that you are seeing after we receive the customer data, we have to populate these are the additional fields that these are the well. But the data source ideally comes from the data what customer feeds in. For the demo purpose, I just keep it for the uh, dummy data over here. Once the metadata generation everything in a place, the next step to start ingest the data into the voice to subscription what customer has. So what we identify, okay, this manifest generation from the metadata and then go to the ingestion and then finally do the verification part of it. So I just start this one. Basically, it will start generate the manifest and then it will start ingest the data and you will see that what is the count which we are doing. So these are the basic thing which we have uh, done it. No need to go to the individual component. What voice tip provided that we have to take care of that uh, manifest ingestion. We have to execute the load command. And if you go to the DDMS ingestion, we have to install some of the component. What OST community provide like ST util or a WB util. So these are the entire package. We can we converted as a CI CD pipeline. If somebody customer wants to own this whole platform into their tenant, 
we we just do one click it will install the whole environment all the setup in the back end what it is needs to be there everything will be in a place in one click so the ci cd also we already implemented in this place so these are the the, uh, the ingestion is currently running so the ost data verification so what we identify that whenever i am ingesting any data into the platform we identify there are 100 well there are 1000 well for say example that i am inserting due to some network issue as due to some airflow issue maybe some of the issue data might not ingest properly so the idea being we have defined some predefined rule stating that okay these are the thing i am want to understand how many well i ingested from the got it from the customer what i ingested into the platform so kind of we have done some predefined rule to identify what is really happening so right now this is ingestion is processing but with the interest of time i'll just go to that validation part what it is going to happen and this particular stage so if you go here we already define set of rules so this is the data which i'm receiving say example of from in a csv format or something as we all know that the elastic search is the final search api or delivery api where people hit and get the count out of it so we we feel that okay these are the rule i will define upfront so that i can just do the validation what was the count when customer has given what is the count when i land the data into my platform so when i do the uh, you can add the rule if you really want so we have provided all the option here so if you want to edit or delete you can perform whatever the action which you want so when you click on this data validation it will hit both the source and target and it will get the result out of it so right now at the demo purpose we just keep some of the csv record what we have ingested and these are the uh, query what we are executing against source and target so if both are matched then it will so it's a true if it is not then it is false so these are the future which we have so the additional future what we have so we all know that uh, we have a postman collection where we you have to really check what is happening on the train so we identify that why do you want to go to the other one so we brought all the, the all the future what postman has provided we brought it here so you you whatever the configuration you set it in the background for the environment variable we are setting internally through that that admin page when you log into that so if you see here you will see all the details what what is the list of group we have right now so you will get all the groups over here and if you want to search any of the data what i have so you can just go and hit it over here say example well i have how many records i have so basically all the data what you want to uh, perform in the postman you can do it over here itself so we have a uh, some more functionality like if you really want to ddms we are uh, we are in progress of implementing a sesamic ddms also so if you really want to do ingest in the ddms basically well bore last file if we really want to do that so in wbd util is a background which is running in our in our docker where we are taking that input and we are trying to upload those files into this wellbore ddms so the ingestion of wellbore ddms also within this platform so to keep that in mind that okay so there are many things where we are struggling to get into all the ingestion framework in one place and all the other functionality which is in a silos at this time we brought it in a single platform we want to make sure that all the data what customer has needs to be pushed into the uh, customer tenant that's the whole idea so the whole application what i am showcasing here it is running it's a cloud agnostic you can connect to any of the cloud or aws or uh, azure it will run on top of that so the the configuration detail we can do it in the admin screen so this is the airflow which we really want to see that what is happening that is a link which we are providing so this is just airflow which i just want to see what is happening when i ingest it. so all the flag you can see it over here the other future where we just want to take the uh, leverage of elastic search which comes with the kibana we do not have uh, much data visualization but what the data what we ingested all the data which you really want to see the count all the data which we just integrated with with, with this uh, dashboard we are building more and more dashboard based on the use case which is in our pipeline so that is what we are working towards to that so these are the things which we have uh, 
uh, done as part of this platform.